is he just calls this a true black screen surface. As you can see, it is highly reflective in a bright room like I'm sitting in at the moment. I have a QD OLED display next to it. That is the ASUS XG27 UCDMG. And you'll see that there are differences in the screen surface. So the QD OLED, it lightens up quite a bit in these brighter conditions, but it's also quite a bit less reflective. It does have more of a colourful tint, a magenta to red tint. This is exaggerated in the video to my eye. It's nothing like as bad as that in these particular lighting conditions. Although in an even brighter room or where there's more direct light striking the screen, it can take on this kind of colourful tint, which you would be able to see quite readily by eye. This model doesn't do that. Again, this is exaggerated in the camera, but it does have a bit of a purplish blue tint. The lighting conditions are more carefully controlled now. So what you'll notice is there's still a bit of lightening up on the QD OLED that you don't get on the W OLED. It is difficult to show this in a video. Maybe if I get a little bit closer, it'll be a bit more obvious. So it does mean that there's the potential to have an inkier look to dark shades on the True Black W OLED in these kind of lighting conditions. But at the same time, you do get significantly more reflections. And with a bright wall behind me and a bright door, bright objects would show the same thing. You can get the reflections and it will sap away your depth just for that reason. But it's still not the same as you get on the QD OLED with its more universal brightening up of dark shades. The screens are now placed in much dimmer conditions. There's no natural light and I'm using dimmed warm coloured room lighting. The QD OLED lighting up has been effectively neutered now. There might be a little bit visible in the video. There's really nothing of consequence. Reflections on both models have been minimised, but there can still be some on the W OLED that wouldn't be visible on the QD OLED. So for example, I have that warm light behind me, which you can see reflected on the W OLED. You can also see a reflection of a bright object over there. I appreciate that the QD OLED is offset to the side, but even so, to the eye as well, the reflections are really much more muted anyway. I certainly wouldn't say the reflections are at all problematic on this True Black W OLED in these lighting conditions. I'm just pointing out that it is still more reflective than the QD OLED. So just some quick general points, not specific to what I've just shown you, but just general use of the monitor and its screen surface. I did enjoy the lack of significant lightening up of the screen surface in bright or moderately bright conditions as well as the lack of obvious colourful tints on the True Black W OLED. I personally have relatively good control over my room lighting but to avoid potentially annoying reflections, I found I had to make more compromises to keep the room darker at times with the True Black W OLED than I would with the QD OLED. And I'm not even talking about making sure I don't have direct light striking the screen surface, because that's undesirable on either model. Certainly strong direct light striking the screen surface. But things like closing the door at the side of me a bit more, or dimming my room lighting, even if it's some distance from the screen, just to make sure that the light walls or other objects in my room weren't brightened up enough to cause obvious reflections. I don't have to really think about that so much on the QD OLED. What I would say is that cleaning the W OLED True Black glossy screen surface, it's very easy. It's just like a normal glossy screen or just really quite like cleaning a piece of glass. You don't have to be too fussy about the products you use. Although having said that, I still would be careful, that, you know, use gentle cleaning products and techniques. But with the QD OLED, you absolutely have to make sure you're doing it in the right way. Samsung Display actually recommends you use a 70% IPA solution and a soft microfiber cloth when you're cleaning the QD OLEDs. And I did find that there's more smearing and it takes just a little bit longer to get the screen surface looking nice on the QD OLED compared to cleaning the True Black Glossy W OLED. So with this all said, neither screen surface is perfect and the case could be made for either one.